Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to do my February favorites. I'm going to be talking about just some current things I've been loving, beauty related, fashion related, um, random. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So first off, I'm going to talk about some eyeshadow palettes because those are my favorite things. Um, first, the Ciate London Glitter Storm palette. I have been absolutely loving this. I think it's still on sale at Sephora for $30, and it is worth every penny. First off, the packaging, the glitter case, I absolutely love. It's so fun. And then the shades are absolutely beautiful. These top three glitter shades are unlike any glitter formula I've ever used. The mattes are really nice, but these glitter shades, honestly, are to die for. I'm wearing them today. I'm wearing one of the glitters and it's just so perfect. Um, I will swatch some of the glitters for you because you just, you have to see what I'm talking about. They're just so glittery and every time I've worn these shades, these glitters, I always get compliments and I know they don't look like anything crazy but on the eyes it's crazy glittery so yeah so if you guys love some glitter eyeshadow you gotta try this formula I am obsessed um, so I've been using that a lot lately on Valentine's Day I, um, I wore Firestorm with Comet in the crease and Stargazer in the um, outer corner and it was just so pretty and I got a ton of compliments. Um, I just always get compliments even from guys that like don't know eyeshadow at all. My boyfriend and like some of his friends were like I like what's on your eyes and I was like wow. Um, you know so even people that don't know makeup still can tell that it's, it's just a really high performing shade and it's so fun. <laughs> Another eyeshadow palette um, is the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess eyeshadow palette. This packaging is crazy with the Medusa on the front and then we have a large mirror and um, 15 shades I believe and oh my gosh these are so beautiful. First off I love the concept of Greek Goddess. Who doesn't want to look like a Greek Goddess? <laughs> Um, and there's these beautiful mattes, you know, your neutrals, but you have that blue, you have some pink and purpley tones. It's just such a great palette, and I know a lot of people are saying it's neutral, it's, you know, we've seen it before, but I really enjoy the formula of these. I enjoy the payoff, like, let me just swatch a few of the shimmers, like, look at this. Like, look at that gold. Sorry, that was a weird swatch. But, in the blue, it's just like really high performing shades. And um, the mattes are beautiful as well. And I've really been loving this. My boyfriend actually got me this palette for Valentine's Day. So, I've been using it a lot ever since. Um, and it just, it's so nice. The packaging gets dirty pretty quickly, but other than that, it's been awesome using this. And look at this. I still have the packaging, too, because it was just so cute with the little snake and everything. I love it. Also a favorite. This was my Valentine's Day card from my boyfriend. And look at the little pop-up roses. I thought that was so cute. He also got me actual roses and chocolates, um, but... I just thought that was a cute card and let's see also this makeup bag this was the ipsy makeup bag this month or February um, for February and just with those kisses I think it's so 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 cute um, so this has been a favorite of mine as well and then my friend Meredith got me these little makeup pins this one says big tease and this one is a little eyeshadow palette so I put those on this little bag. Super cute. So those are some favorites as well. Um, I've been trying out the Smashbox primerize, prim, prim, Primerizer. 
It's a primer and a moisturizer in one. I just have this tiny, tiny little sample of it, but I've really been enjoying it because I've been super dry in February, um, especially around my nose because I was sick. So this is incredible um, because I would put my moisturizer on and then I'd put this on. So it was like, it's like a primer and a moisturizer and so you could just use this, but because I was so dry, I was using a moisturizer and as a primer, it has the moisturizer in it. So it just really helped me get rid of that dry skin um, around my nose because I was sick. So I really do like this. I'm going to try to get the full size version eventually. Then I have the Ole Hendrickson uh, Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is a little sample as well. And I bought this um, with the gel moisturizer. It was a pack from Sephora. And it's just super brightening, super nice. I'm wearing it today under my makeup. And I think I'm going to get the full size of it once I run out of this because, I don't know, it's hard for me to find a good eye cream that I enjoy using. Like, eye cream isn't too fun to buy but this one I definitely noticed it brightening up my under eyes so yeah um hair favorite of the month I love the Tresemme uh, Tres 2 spray the four number four hairspray and sometimes I just don't I, I have a lot of like high-end hairsprays as well but sometimes I just go for the drugstore version and these little mini ones are great for travel so not too bad I've been enjoying that and then I also really like these Neutrogena makeup remover wipes in the single version I've been liking keeping these in my purse in case I need them on the go so um, you know the Neutri Neutrogena wipes are the best wipes I think on the market but these little singles are a new favorite for me um, even though the wipes aren't really a new favorite and then my last makeup favorite or beauty favorite is the wet n wild contouring palette in Dulce de Leche probably saying that wrong but it looks like the Marc Jacobs one that's super expensive but it's drugstore I think it was three or four dollars and I've just been loving this bronzer it is so good and this powder I haven't really been using too much I'm kind of afraid to replace my Maybelline one but here they are swatch it's just super affordable and I don't know it's it's really nice I'm wearing it today if you can tell um, nothing out of the ordinary it's just a bronzer I'm not too picky with my bronzers but um, I definitely have been enjoying this one from Wet n Wild. And okay, so let's get into some fashion favorites. I have this sweater from Forever 21. It is red and super big and it almost looks see-through in the light, but it's not. <laughs> um, it's not really. And it has this little like half turtleneck and it's a large so it's kind of big on me but with leggings it's super cute i've just been really enjoying these like cozy larger sweaters um and turtlenecks aren't too bad i've been enjoying that as well so that's forever 21 then i have this sweater i actually got for christmas but i've been loving it is in a small from charlotte ruse it's just a cozy um uh, striped sweater I wear this with black jeans and yeah stripes aren't normally my thing so this is fun <laughs> and yeah I usually get a lot of compliments on this sweater as well um, not really on the red one because that's just plain but a lot of people compliment the striped one and then lastly this is from H&M but I actually got it at a thrift store it's just a plain yellow sweater and I don't know the size because whoever had it before cut off the tag but it just looks like this it's like a mustard sweater and I don't know I've been really enjoying it with my dark hair I feel like it just it's just cute so that's another fashion favorite and then 
now some random favorites. I have been loving these little Pop-Tart Bites. These are the frosted brown sugar cinnamon ones. If you like Pop-Tarts, I mean, I'm not like a Pop-Tart crazy person, but I enjoy Pop-Tarts occasionally, and I just think these bite versions are so cute. So that's a food favorite. Also, my planner. This is a 2019, those are right there, um, Bando planner. I believe it was like $32, $35, and here's the cover, and it is so cute. There are stickers, like I feel like I'm a little kid again. Look at these stickers. They are just so cute, and um, so here's, I don't know, it's just, the pages are just so fun, and yeah so that's that's been a favorite it kind of makes planning out my life more fun and i love i love planners but this one just takes it to the next level i really enjoy writing in this one and i don't know where they sell bando i just ordered it online if you were wondering i know it's a little late to get a new planner but if you guys needed one that's a good one also my best one of my best friends um, Erin, she made a little balloon for me. It, like, shrunk because it's been a few, it's been a few weeks, but I got a concussion in February, and she gave me this balloon, and it says, I'm sorry, you got a concussion, and I just thought that was really funny, and definitely a favorite of this month. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to leave for spring break. Um, which is super exciting. I'm at school right now, um, and I just can't wait for spring break. I'm so excited to go home, to not do much, um, so I hope you guys, if you guys have spring break coming up, or if not, I hope you guys just have a good rest of the winter before spring, <laughs> even though it's spring break now, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.